Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back for another review of the Bro Toys Apocalypse Crisis figure, Officer Clay and Officer Neil, AKA Officer Claire Redfield and Officer Jill Valentine from the Resident Evil video games. So I did the initial reviews on each individual figure. We have the Jill Valentine figure in plain clothes, and we also have the Claire Redfield figure in plain clothes. So I already did another review of these two figures. You can check that out here. So there's also a two-pack, which you see here, and these guys come together in their officer uniform. And we'll go over those guys. We'll go over the figures first. Then we'll go over the accessories and then do a short size comparison. But if you really want to see the size comparisons, you can check out those individual videos that I did on these two uh, figures in plain clothes. It does some good size comparisons as well. So first, we'll start off with Jill Valentine. And they're pretty similar as far as the uniforms. Pretty similar. You have some nice soft goods here as far as the pants and the top. So all of this is cloth. So very nice and detailed figures. So they have the, the vest here. You have the belt. And as you can see, there's little handcuffs here. But you can't remove those. Those are sort of painted in. And you have the pouches as well. They don't open up or anything. But some nice detail there. You can remove this leg holster. And there's a Glock 19 here in the holster that you can remove. There's a little scrap here that you kind of have to bend back. And then you can take that out. So... You have the Glock 19. Okay, we'll put that to the side. And at the back of the belt, you have the flashlight here. You can remove that as well. And you can also remove this knife. Here you have the radio. You can remove that. Put that in. So we just put that to the side as well. So you can see the nice detail. RPD, Raccoon Police Department, Raccoon City Police Department. <laughs> and have little pads there, elbow pads that you can remove, and some knee pads that you can remove. So it has nice weathering effects on it. So paint it really nice. There's some really nice weathering effects on the boots as well. You have little pockets here on the side, the uniform. So pretty sweet. You can remove this vest as well. We won't do that now. Don't want to get too fussy. <laughs> nice head scope. I really like this head scope. So we get that. So nicely detailed head scope with some nice hair sc scoped in as well. And so we'll just do the articulation just on this figure because they're pretty similar. They're very similar figures uh, with just different head scopes. So you can flex at the ankle, flex up, and you can flex down. You can sort of rotate it around. You can flex at the knee. Now, this is going to be limited by the soft goods. You don't want to get too aggressive as far as moving those joints because you don't want to rip the pants or anything. 
but you can at least do that safely about that much. You can rotate at the hip a bit. And again, you could kick out some here, but you don't want to get too aggressive with that kick because you don't want to tear the pants here. You can rotate at the hip. Okay. And there's a little chest rotation. You go, Again, you're going to be limited by the clothes. So right here at the chest, you can turn her a bit. You can twist at the wrist. Flex the elbow. Of course, extend the elbow and move the arm out about that much. Okay. Again, you got to be careful just enough to rip the shirt when you get that arm out. Okay. You can rotate the head, you can look down a bit. look up okay. so again it's pretty similar with her they're basically the same figure except different head scopes so her head scoped you have Claire Redfield her head scope is just <laughs> really on the younger looking side so she really Looks more like a young teenager. It would have been nice to have an extra hair scope for each of them, you know, to do more because they, they really run into some zombies. And you want their facial expression to sort of fit the situation. So they have this more neutral, relaxed, and calm look here. They probably won't have that look if they have a few zombies coming after them. And similar to Jill Valentine, she has the flashlight here, the knife that you can remove, of course, the sort of pouch for the radio. Again, with the handcuffs pouch here. And she also has a revolver. I'm not going to take that out now, but it's a nice little revolver here. So these are similar accessories that come with the plain clothes one as well so she comes with all of this but the Claire Redfield figure actually comes with the most accessories so even though this pack comes with all you see here as far as the table and we'll go over those accessories the plain clothes Claire Redfield comes with all of this and some weapons so let's go over the accessories. So with this two-pack here, we, of course, have the radio for Claire. You have this grenade launcher. And you have... Three of these little tiny grenades, it's kind of tough to <laughs> get them on camera because they're so small. But you can fit them right inside of the launcher here. You have that grenade just sticking out there. You also have some, maybe a smoke grenade, flashbang. Probably flashbang is not going to work on some zombies, so maybe it's a smoke grenade. And you have a regular grenade. She also comes with extra pairs of hands. We're not going to terribly exhaust all of these hands because, again, they're similar. So this is just a hand for gripping. And one for holding the gun. 
for the left hand. You also have a right-handed fist. And a left hand for gripping. A right hand for holding the gun as well. And a left fist. And this is supposed to be for Jill Valentine, but again, it's a two-pack, so they can share these accessories. So she has this nice shotgun that she also comes with as the single pack as well. So if you get the plain clothes and the these this set as well, you're gonna get you know multiple of the same accessories. So you have two of these shotguns. And there's nothing wrong with that because these shotguns and other accessories are really nicely detailed, as you can see here. Nice paint job. And Jill also comes with the grenade and a similar pair of hands. Now, we'll sit these two to the side here and focus more on these bigger accessories. These are really nice. I mean... This table, everything on it, and these chairs come with this pack. So all of this is extra props. But here, it's come with the pack. This is really nice. So if you get the Claire Redfield plain clothes figure and this double pack, you're going to have two of everything you see here as far as the table and the chairs. So that's nice. You have this camera. You have the book, and you have a, another set of books here. These are stuck together. You have this sort of old school telephone. And you have this lamp. It would have been nice if this actually had a little light bulb in there with a that would have been cool. You have these two desk chairs, and they have some nice details as well. So you can see the little patterns, little texture on the cushions, and it also rotates. So that's a nice little feature. So, and you also have this table. And you can just remove these legs here. So you have to assemble, but it's fairly easy. So we'll set them back up here for some size comparisons. So you have those here. We'll move the chairs to the side. And again, if you want to see more size comparison, just check out the other two videos I did of the plain clothes figures. So you have the Marvel Legends Black Widow figure. As you can see, she's quite a bit taller than these two. So, and she can barely even fit on the screen. G.I. Joe classified Valkyrie, Cobra Valkyrie figure. Again. pretty tall <laughs> and finally you have the action force Gemini figure and yeah. her next to and again she looks like a giant next to these guys but they're still well worth it they're on the smaller side but they look great they're well done. You have a lot of great accessories, and I highly recommend these figures. I mean, these are some of my figures, uh, more favorite figures of the year here. So I think this is a wonderful deal, especially if you get the plain clothes uh, figures. In these two, you have a lot of accessories, and you have some good articulation, some nice soft goods. 
I mean, very detailed, nice head sculpts, and I'm very happy uh, with this set. So that's it for now. If you liked the video, please remember to hit that thumbs up button, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.